Hi there, in this video we're going to explore a core rate of reaction experiment known as the disappearing cross. This conical flask contains a colourless chemical known as sodium thiosulfate. Now, sodium thiosulfate is able to react with hydrochloric acid. This reaction produces products such as sodium chloride, water, sulfur dioxide, but most importantly, sulfur. Now, you may remember that sulfur as an element is a yellow solid, so what happens over time is a precipitate will form and a cloudy suspension will be created as the reaction goes to completion. This will mean that over time, slowly but surely, the cross will disappear from view as that cloudy suspension is formed. And so we make sure our eye is positioned above the cross looking down through the suspension and we wait until that moment when the cross becomes invisible to stop the stopwatch and this will give us an indication of the rate of the reaction. The factor we're investigating here is the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction. This experiment of room temperature is an example of a relatively low temperature experiment. The average kinetic energy of the reactant particles is low so they're moving more slowly. This will result in there being less collisions per second. So proportionally, there are less successful collisions per second with energy exceeding the required activation energy and the rate of reaction is lower. Compared to, say, a high temperature experiment like this one where I've raised the temperature of the reactants to 60 degrees centigrade. Let's watch the difference in terms of the speed of the reaction. At this point, it's worth stressing there are lots of controlled variables going on in this experiment. The volume of the solutions will be the same, the concentration of the solutions will be the same, my eye position will be the same, and finally, the speed of swirling with the conical flask will ideally be as close to the original as possible to make sure we have what is known as a fair test. So this time we have a relatively high temperature scenario. The average kinetic energy of the particles will be higher, they're moving around faster, there'll be more collisions per second and therefore, proportionally, more successful collisions per second with energy equal to or exceeding the required activation energy resulting in a faster rate of reaction. Evident in this experiment in the fact that the color change happened in 11 seconds rather than 40 seconds. And again, you can see the buildup of the milky white slash yellow precipitate of insoluble sulfur means it is now impossible to see through that suspension to the cross below and that's the nature of why we call this experiment the disappearing cross experiment. So there you have it guys, that's the end of the experiment. Hope you have a better idea about the key observations and where they're coming from, the nature of collision theory and how it can be applied to scenarios like this, and therefore a better understanding of this particular core rates experiment. Take care, bye for now.